Now we will import Java awt.event to implement the action listener class. Now we will add our buttons to action listener. Let's start from the button B1. B1 is the button we have declared here. Now copy this line and paste here. Add the buttons one by one. Okay, we have added all our buttons here. Now we will override the method action performed. If we click on button 1, then what will happen? Clicking button 1 will cause the text field to display the digit 1. We will do the similar thing for the 10 buttons 0 to 9 and the decimal point button. When we will click into the positive button or addition button, it will take input from the text field and it will convert it into a double number. Let's set the value of the variable operator which will help us in later. Operator variable will help us in performing arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication.
now we have to define some variables here uh, we will use now static double a with the initial value of 0 b equals 0 and the result with the initial value 0 static integer operator with the initial value of 0 Now the same action will be performed when we press subtraction, multiplication or division keys. Now, what will happen if we click to the equal sign or equal button? We are using switch case here. We are using operator as our variable of this switch case function. Suppose that we have clicked to the plus icon, so the operator value will be 1 and the result will be a plus b, the two variables we have declared earlier, and a break statement. Again, suppose that we have clicked to the minus sign, so the operator value will be 2 and result will be a minus b. The same case for the multiplication button and the division button. Default case, we will set the result value to zero. That is none of the keys are pressed or clicked now we will display the result to our text field Now what will happen if we press the or click the clear button, it will simply clean the text field or it will display nothing, uh, nothing on the text field. Now let's run this code. You can see all the numbers will contain a text on the text field now.